Hello and thank you for watching Hornbill TV's Prime at 9. I'm Naomi Kigon. Now the headlights. Addressing BJP workers at the party headquarters in New Delhi after state election results, Modi said Gujarat's love for the BJP, despite it being in power for 25 years, is unprecedented. They have broken all records and written history, he added. The ruling Paradia Janata Party led state government on Thursday registered a tumbling majority. Gujarat State Party Chief C. R. Badil said the Pupen Rabadel will take vote as Chief Minister for second time on December 12th. The Rajya Sabha today passed the Wildlife Protection Amendment Bill 2022, which seeks to give effect to India's obligations under the Convention on International Trade on Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora Cities, which requires countries to regulate trade of all listed specimens through permits. The Taliban regime on Wednesday executed an Afghan who was found guilty of killing another man. This was the first public execution carried out by the former insurgents who hastily took over Afghanistan in 2021. Now the news in detail. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Thursday hit out at the Congress after the Gujarat and Himachal Pradesh Assembly election results and said the increased support base for the PJB shows public anger against dynastic politics is constantly growing. Addressing BJP workers at the party headquarters in New Delhi, after state election results, Modi said Gujarat's love for the BJP, despite it being in power for 25 years, is unprecedented. They have broken all records, written history, he said. I Gujarat ke bhai behno aur yuvaon se kaha tha ki is baar Narendra ka record tootna chahiye. और मैंने वादा किया था कि भूपेंद्र नरेंद्र का रिकॉर्ड तोड़े इसलिए नरेंद्र जी जान से मेहनत करेगा और गुजरात की जनता ने तो रिकॉर्ड तोड़ने में भी रिकॉर्ड कर दिया उसने गुजरात की स्थापना से लेकर के अब तक सारे रिकॉर्ड तोड़ दिए गुजरात के इतिहास का सबसे प्रचंड जनादेश भाजपा को देकर गुजरात के लोगों ने नया इतिहास बना दिया है he also accepted the voters' mandate in the Himachal Pradesh Assembly and Delhi MCD elections and hailed the BJP for winning the Bibles in Bihar and Rambur. He also praised the Election Commission for conducting fair polls. Modi assured the people of Himachal Pradesh that BJP's development commitment is 100%. As the trends continue to show the BJP is sweeping the Gujarat Assembly polls, the state BJP sta chief C.R. Patil said that the Gujarat Chief Minister Bhubendra Patel will take oath at 2 p.m. on 12th of December. Prime Minister Modi and Union Home Minister Amit Shah will take part in the oath ceremony. Patel had earlier said the results are quite clear and people have made up their minds to further continue with the journey of the development in Gujarat. Meanwhile, State Home Minister Harsh Sanghavi said Gujarat has given the message that the people of Gujarat and BJP will remain together. People of Gujarat gave a befitting reply to those who insulted the state. <laughs> भव्य विजय के लिए ये भाजपा के केंद्रीय नेतागण मंत्रिमंडल के सदस्य भारतीय जनता पार्टी शासित राज्यों के मुख्यमंत्री अन्य राज्यों के हमें चुनाव में सहायता करने आए हमारे महिला एवं पुरुष कार्यकर्ता खुदा भाजपा के 80 लाख कठोर परिश्रमी पेड कमेटी के कार्यकर्ता और सदस्यों का दिल से आभार व्यक्त करता हूँ भाजपा कार्यकर्ताओं का विजय संकल्प को लेकर चुनाव के मैदान में उतरे ये हमारे लाखों कार्यकर्ताओं ने 
अपने अप्रतिम परिश्रम से जनता की सेवा करते हुए ये विजय प्राप्त किया है हमें उन पर बहुत गर्व है हमारा प्रचार भाजपा के प्रत्येक कार्यकर्ता के कठिन परिश्रमों की कहानी है जिसने एक बेहतर गुजरात के सर्जन के लिए निस्वार्थ योगदान दिया है भाजपा की यह भव्य विजय सत्तावीस वर्ष के भाजपा के सकारात्मक कार्य का विजय है हमने जनता की सेवा और कल्याण को आदर्श मानकर कार्य किया हमने अपने प्रचार अभियान के दौरान सुशासन और विकास के हमारे जो वादे थे वो साकार किए संकल्प को गुजरात के हर कोने तक पहुंचाने का प्रयास किया आदरणीय प्रधानमंत्री श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी के विकास कार्य को धरती पर उतारने का काम गुजरात की भूपेंद्र पटेल सरकार कर रही है Amid the counting of votes for the Gujarat Assembly elections, the Congress Party Gujarat in charge, Raku Sharma, tendered his resignation to the Indian National Congress President Malik Arjun Karje on Thursday. In his resignation letter, Sharma wrote that he was taking moral responsibility for the Congress Party's unexpected defeat in the Assembly elections. He is now resigning from the post of in charge of Gujarat, he wrote in his resignation letter. He urged the party's command to accept his resignation from the post of Gujarat in charge, he added. The Rajya Sabha today passed the Wildlife Protection Amendment Bill 2022, which seeks to give effect to India's obligations under the Convention on International Trade on Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora Cities, which requires countries to regulate trade of all listed specimens through permits. The bill, which will amend the Wildlife Protection Act 1972 to increase the species protected under the law, was passed by the Lok Sabha on August 2, 2022. Environment Minister Bhubender Yadav said that in India, illegal animal trade is regulated under Custom Act, Foreign Trade Development Regulation Act and Exim Policy and Wildlife Protection Act. However, the bill is brought since cities requires independent framework for wildlife protection. He added that the bill is also beneficial for local tribal communities as it inserts an explanation to provide for certain permitted activities such as grazing, movement of livestock, bona fide use of drinking and household water. <laughs> वन्यजीव संरक्षण विधेयक जो उन्नीस में पारित किया गया था उसमें मैं संशोधन के लिए विधेयक सदन के समक्ष प्रस्तावित करता हूं दुनिया में जो एक विभिन्न देशों के बीच में संधि है कन्वेंशन ऑफ इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड ऑन एंडेंजर्ड स्पीशीज जिस प्रकार से वन्य जीव और वन्य संपदा दुनिया में विलुप्त होती जा रही है और कुछ संपदाएं इस कागार पे आ गई हैं कि उनका संरक्षण करना आवश्यक है इसको लेकर के दुनिया के सभी देशों के अंतर्गत एक संधि 1976 में हुई थी हम सब जानते हैं कि वन्य जीवों का जो अवैध व्यापार होता है उसको रोकने के लिए और उसके साथ ही साथ उसमें रेगुलेशन लाने के लिए हर देश के अंतर्गत नियमों को बनाने का और कानून को पारित करने का प्रावधान किया गया था भारत सरकार भी इस अंतर्राष्ट्रीय संधि के सदस्य है हालांकि हमारे देश में जो इस प्रकार का अवैध व्यापार होता है उसको कस्टम एक्ट्स के तहत फॉरेन ट्रेड डेवलपमेंट और रेगुलेशन एक्ट के तहत और एग्जिम पॉलिसी एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट के तहत नियंत्रित किया जाता है परंतु इस संधि के अंतर्गत दुनिया के सभी देशों के लिए ये कहा गया था कि एक अलग से वन्य जीवों का एक स्ट्रक्चर ढांचा बनाया जाना चाहिए मैं कहना भी चाहूँगा कि तत्कालीन यू सरकार ने ये एश्योरेंस भी अंतर्राष्ट्रीय स्तर पर दिया था लेकिन उन्होंने पूरा नहीं किया और चूंकि इस अंतर्राष्ट्रीय संधि को 2005 में हमने एश्योरेंस दिया था 
पूरा करना आवश्यक है और अतएव इस बिल को लोकसभा में रखा गया है जिसको सर्वसम्मति से पारित किया गया और मैं ये चाहता हूँ कि ये बिल इस राज्यसभा में भी सर्वसम्मति से पारित किया जाए As part of the Hornbill Festival, the first ever night carnival is being organized by Government of Nagaland, Department of Tourism, in collaboration with the Seminu District Administration, Council of Rengma Baptist Churches, Seminu Town Baptist Church, Seminu Town Traders Union, and Seminu Town Council. The carnival, which began on December 6 to 8, came to close this evening with various local artists, including Divine Connection, as a special appearance. Local band, namely Instant Band, Trademark, and Guitar Ensemble Music Academy Seminu performed during this three days night carnival. Renowned stand-up comedian Michael Kess entrolled the gathering with his wit and humor. Mizoram's member of the Rajya Sabha, Ge Van Lav Vina, today highlighted in the parliament the plight of Arikanad farmers in Mizoram and Tripura who are reportedly suffering after Assam government authorities clamped down on the produce following the center's instructions. The MP stated that uh, Erika plantation is one of the biggest occupations of the Northeast farmers, especially for those in Mizoram and Tripura for decades, and that they could not export their own Erika produce to other states of India during this year as fresh Erika protection was stopped and seized by Assam government officials along the highway within the state of Assam following instructions given by the Ministry of Home Affairs. As a result, Van Lavina said farmers of the two aforesaid states are incurring a great loss. I hope you may aware that Arika plantation is one of the biggest occupations of the Northeastern states since many years ago. Especially Arika plants are grown in the state of Mizoram and Tripura among the tribal areas in a large quantity so that it is the main occupation for many tribal people in those areas. Unfortunately, Honorable Chairman, I want to inform this August House that the farmers of Mizoram and Tripura could not export their own Arika product to the other states of India during this year. Their fresh Arika production was stopped and seized by some government officials along the highway within the state of Assam, following the instruction given by the, by the Ministry of Home Affairs, Government of India. This means that the instruction given by the Union government is a great loss for the tribal people living in the Northeast. In the meantime, dry Erika of Southeast Asian products entered India to Myanmar in a bulk quantity. As report received from officials that the Union government is trying to stop the incoming of foreign dry Erika products. Honorable Chairman, I highly appreciate that this foreign Arika production smuggling must be stopped from entering our country. So I kindly request the Indian government not to confuse our own Arika product and foreign dry Arika product. It is different thing. Foreign Arika product is in the form of dry, but our own uh, native products in the form in the form of fresh, fresh one. We cannot confuse them. So there is no reason to stop the sales. Uh, and says the native Arika product anywhere within Indian Union, unless we are treating the Northeast India as a foreign country. Let the smuggling of foreign Arika be stopped. In the meantime, let the native Arika production be free. Thank you so much, sir. 
The MB expressed gratitude for the union government's efforts to check illegal dry arecan nuts coming in from Southeast Asia into Indian, India through Myanmar. However, he cautioned that it is important that the government does not confuse local areca produce with foreign areca produce. There is no reason to stop and seize native areca produce anywhere within Indian Union unless the center is treating Northeast India as a foreign country, he said. Let the smuggling of foreign Erika be stopped, but let the native produce of Erika be free, K. Van Lav Levina told the parliament. Rejecting BJP's claim that there will be no government without BJP, National People's Party, National Vice President and Deputy Chief Minister Preston Taingsong claimed his party will form government in Mekalia on its own in 2023. Saying that elections in the state are totally different, Taingsong said, NBP does not see any party as threat and other parties should see them as threat. Coming down heavily on the allegation made by the BJP against the ongoing inaugurations and foundation stone laying by the NBP-led state government, the NBP leader called it purely political. NBP is a... Uh lot of MLAs are in fact uh, four MLAs are joining BJP mm. and they are claiming that there will be no government in the state without the support of BJP. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? Is, uh, is BJP really a threat for uh, NPP and um, uh, see I don't uh, I don't see it is a threat for NPP. Or I don't say that NPP is a threat for somebody else. I keep telling you, election is totally different in Meghala. People of Meghala, when they decide to vote for any candidate, it is done according to their own choice. It is done according to their relationship, their closeness with that particular candidate. So the question of party here is secondary. But primarily, I'm telling you, winning election in the state of Meghala, you have seen it. I've seen it. I think I've done also my research. I've seen it. People does not elect the candidate on the basis of the party line, but they elect on the basis of their personal life. The third Open T20 cricket tournament organized by Trojans XX Club commenced today at the public ground in Zunepoto. The advisor for school education and SCRT, KT Sukhalu, while delivering as the special guest, said today that employment in the government has reached a point of saturation. There are more than 1,40,000 or employed in the government and much more time is needed, he said. He wondered how the state is going to accommodate all the young people, students and upcoming children. The state wants entrepreneurs or sportsmen, he said. Naglin has talent but discipline is very poor, said Sukalu. He urged the people about nurturing the young and that through this type of tournament they can influence other people. I would also like to pay our sincere gratitude to our special guest, Sri. Sri K.T. Sikhalu, IAS Retired, Honorable Advisor, School Education and SCERT, Government of Nagaland. Thank you, sir, for your grand presence in our tournament. Thank you, sir, for always being there for your people. Despite of your busy days and diaries, you have always been there for your people. We need discipline. We need commitment. I have been trying to encourage young people all over the state wherever I go. Today, government employment has reached its saturation point. You all know that we have a government employee list of more than 1,40,000. Much more than we need. Now, all the young people, students, upcoming children, how are we going to accommodate them? We want entrepreneurs. We want good sportsmen. This time in the 
the Northeast Olympics that was conducted in Shillong, our athletes did very well. Why they did well? Because they maintained discipline. They maintained commitment. One thing I have been observing about our sportsmen here in Nagaland. Desire, you have the talent, God-given talent. But the discipline is very, very poor. The commitment goes haywire. You want to do this, you want to do that, you want to be in government service, you want to do another business. If your mind keeps roaming around like that, I think you end up nowhere. You know, jack of all trades, but master of none. There's an English saying that. So if you choose sports as your profession, I want you to have the commitment. I want you to maintain the discipline. That's all we have for now. For more news and updates, keep watching Hornbill TV.